Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 78th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as well as the 18th episode of Season 2 titled White Light Part 2. We begin this episode exactly where we left off with Billy being a peeping Tom on Alpha and Zordon who are creating a new Power Ranger. Zed also says that his plan will continue, casually saying that the Rangers retreated in between episodes. Great resolution. At the lab, Billy starts to explain what happened, but Trini and Kim are just dicks, demanding answers now. Then Billy spills that they're making a new ranger, and Kim is worried about who this new ranger is. Billy says all the energy is being used but toward a new ranger, and Kim wonders why Tommy couldn't just be the new ranger, but Jason says to basically shut up and get over it because Zordon hasn't been that big of a dick before. Alpha and Zordon talk about proceeding to the final stage of their creation. And then we see Bulk and Skull are at their lab, pissed that they cannot get this dumpster open. Skull suggests going to Ernie's for something. At the command center, Alpha has restored full power and they summon the five teens. Billy says, remember, they know what they're doing. I mean, do they? They teleport in and Zordon says that the Green Ranger is no more, but it's time for an even more powerful ranger to come in and show them all up. Presenting the White Ranger, who floats down from the sky like freaking Jesus. Zordon tells him to reveal his identity and as he takes off his helmet, Kimberly faints. We come back from a commercial break to reveal that the White Ranger is Tommy who celebrates with the others before he goes and wakes up Kimberly, who is just on the ground. Thanks for helping everyone. They hug it all out. Then, Zordon asks if they're pleased with the new leader of the team. Take that, Jason. They also say they were secretive to make sure that Zed didn't know about this. Also, apparently his powers can't be taken away, and he is the White Tiger Zord. And he has a talking saber called Saba, who materializes in Tommy's hand. Also, Bulk and Skull are back with a huge can opener. So... Why did Ernie have that to begin with? Alpha spots this on the viewing globe while the Scarlet Sentinel is also back. Billy and Trini will go to the damaged Zords to repair them. Zack, Jason, and Kimberly are going to Bulk and Skull, leaving Tommy to tackle the Nimrod monster on his own. Red, Black, and Pink run into putties, and they assume Zed is looking for Rita as well. Tommy calls out the White Tiger Zord, who isn't doing well and just kind of trips and falls. Cool new toy, Tommy. You already suck at it. We cut back briefly for the putty fight while Tommy jumps on top of the Zord and he says he's never had a partner before. Dude, you had five. He then goes inside the Zord before forming the White Tiger Zord Warrior Mode while Ron Wasserman's new song, White Ranger Tiger Power plays. The Zord fights the Nimrod monster and we cut back to cardboard boxes getting thrown at the putties. I've never seen such a stark juxtaposition that would make Tommy look so much cooler than the others. Then, Nimrod calls out AC and DC, who attack the Zord as well, knocking Tommy out of his Zord. Zoran says that he's going to reconfigure the other Zords to join up with the White Tiger Zord, and Saba can't reach Jason! Just kidding, Jason just calls on his own Thunder Zord, and he freaking just rides the Tiger Zord in the battle. They charge through the monsters before disengaging, and then the rest of the Thunder Zords just roll up, combining with the Tiger Zord to form the Mega Thunder Tiger Zord. They then fire the Firebird Thunder Zord at the three as their finisher, defeating the three monsters before the Red Dragon Thunder Zord waltz over, shaking hands with the other giant robot. Hulk and Skull are struggling and exhausted from the dumpster, slinking down to talk, while Rita just comes out of the dumpster on her own to yell at the two. They see her and Rita calls them a human baboo and squat, passing out from shock. Then the six rangers come in, picking up Rita and shoving her right back into her dumpster. Kim and Trini wake up Vulcan Skull who are passed out and they make them feel like they're a little bit ridiculous for thinking that there was ever a witch there before. Then Tommy, Jason, Billy, and Zack fire Rita back off into space with the help of Zordon and Alpha somehow. They then go back to the youth center where the surprise party for Tommy is happening. It looks like literally no one cares though. Richie shows up to talk about how he won a trophy in a karate tournament this afternoon and he demonstrates a move, hitting the cake out of Ernie's hands, landing on Vulcan Skull who just walked in. They immediately turn around and leave and Tommy says he's glad that some things never change. The end. This episode's kind of cringy. It really makes the teens look like complete assholes to Vulcan Skull to be honest. They make them think that Rita was a hallucination, and they even just laugh at the cake getting all over them. Like, these poor guys. Other than that, this isn't a great first showing for the White Tiger Zord. It's struggling to keep up with the monsters, and it's really only good when it combines with the other Thunder Zords. That's really depressing when it's supposed to be the super powerful one and whatnot. How will next episode fare? 
find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.